Nityanandam, with the grace and blessings of my Guru, His Holiness Paramahamsa Sri Nityanandam Swamiji, I shall continue my series of sharings on conscious conception. All through, we have been talking about how the environment that is provided during the period of gametogenesis, conception and pregnancy itself translates to the quality of the conception, conception and in turn the quality of the human civilization. Somewhere in the series of sharings, if you have been given to believe that it has got to do with the mother alone, I'm sorry, you're mistaken. The father has an equally important role to play. After all, the conceptus shares 50% of its DNA from the father. We are talking about a very empowered state where you are no longer a victim to your genetic endowment. It is in your capacity to provide the right environment for yourself and in turn for your baby so that it is in your capacity to switch on the right genes and suppress the wrong genes or switch off the wrong genes. You can express the right genetic endowment and you can suppress the one that is not needed. And this is the science of harnessing epigenesis or epigenetics, as I would say. There was this very beautiful scientific study that was conducted by a Russian scientist called Vladimir, whom Swamiji would call a modern day Rishi. According to him, modern day scientists who are in pursuit of the truth and not conducting studies based on certain vested interests are the modern day Rishis. One such Vladimir's study has been very beautifully documented on YouTube by Dr. Greg Braden. I would be providing the link of this study for the reference of the viewers in the description of the video below. What they actually found as a result of the study was, in simple language, language if I have to share, we isolated the DNA by scraping the buccal mucosa, the inside of the cheek, and they preserved it in an in vitro condition in a laboratory where the person himself was sitting in a room far away. They studied the impact of certain emotions that this person was subjected to on his DNA, which was being studied by polygraphic studies. Every time the person was subjected to an, an emotion of anger, frustration, irritation, fear, the DNA that was in the, pet in the laboratory conditions actually coiled up and contracted. Whereas when he was in a space of gratitude, joy, happiness and love and compassion, the DNA actually elongated and relaxed. Now, this is pretty much the same condition. Even though the conceptus itself is not physically connected to the father anymore, it still has that connection of the DNA inheritance that it has from the father. So irrespective of where the father is, he could be in the same house as the, with the pregnant mother or he could be on a deputation 500 miles away. Every single life situation that he goes through and his emotions, his perceptions, his way of responding, his incompletions, his patterns, his perceptions, all of this form the basis of the biomemories that are getting laid in the baby's body. What exactly are biomemories? Keep tuned to know more about all this in my upcoming videos. But for today, I would like to leave you with this understanding that both the father and the mother have an equally important role to play in the field of conscious conception and conscious pregnancy. And that is why, as a part of the End Pregnancy Care Program, when the couples enroll for the program, we insist that both of them practice all these sacred 
knowledge the sacred techniques and the very beautiful meditation and other processes that have been designed by swami ji and which has its source in the vedopanishads i thank you all for tuning in to this video and i also request you that if you feel connected to what is being shared to please subscribe for the channel like and share for the benefit of humanity do leave in your comments and queries in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to clarify them for you thank you all once again nityananda